Now we come to our final quick fire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone. So if you could all make your way to the performance area, please. I will call it ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come in with their suggestions. The first subject is the worst thing to hear over a tannoy system. Only you can hear me. <laughs> The train to Nottingham will arrive in five minutes, which is a pity, because this is Tesco. <laughs> Second floor, but you can't get out. <laughs> Welcome to our school sports day. Mark will probably get stuck in a sack. Ha, bloody ha! <laughs> can somebody come to the salami slicer, please? <laughs> If anybody has found a Rix inhaler... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know there will be a bomb on the tube, but will it be today? <laughs> the lift doors are closing, leaving you trapped in an airless, windowless coffin, <laughs> hurtling downwards at a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Would the parents of the child that fell into the tiger enclosure please come to Lost Property to collect her shoes? <laughs> the plane's about to land in Glasgow. Passengers are reminded to set their watches back 25 years. <laughs> the next topic is unlikely lines from the final Harry Potter book. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Hermione, I can get rid of it. Chlamydia disappearo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Hermione, said Harry, unbuttoning his zip. I'll show you a really magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> Harry had always thought that he'd meet his death at the hands of Voldemort, so imagine his surprise when the doctors told him that he was HIV positive. <laughs> No that, no, there is no post today, said Ron. The owls are on a one-day strike over the <laughs> conditions. Midway through the orgy, Ron winked at Harry. This is better than Quidditch, his eyes seemed to say. <laughs> it was a magic mirror that showed the future, and in it, Harry seemed to be a 30-year-old actor appearing in something called The Bell. <laughs> The snitch, said Harry. I'll tie him down and you can drill through his kneecaps. <laughs> As the old man stood in front of him in his robes, clutching his wand, Harry regretted transferring to Catholic school. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm having a baby and it's yours, said Professor McGonagall. <laughs> <laughs> then Harry says something, Hermione says something, oh, who cares? I'm minted. 